your own peril. But this is real stuff. Seho is a reality in the world, and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the Seho of Daegu. You can see Madonna. Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tell the tagani the kumama. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video. And to give a big shout out to everyone that's gotten us to 9,000 subscribers. I don't know how we could ever thank you guys, but we appreciate so so much and we love you guys. And a big shout out to everyone else that has been giving us that has been interacting with us and has been giving us a lot of suggestions that keep us going every day so yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to the devil's symbols magic and technology without wasting any time let's get into the video scientists were magicians they were all into black magic you read about uh, Francis Bacon he, I, I just read a, a, a biography of Francis Bacon called knowledge is power magic and, and, and the creation of modern science Francis Bacon was reading all these magical books Arthur C. Clarke Arthur C. Clarke great technologist he actually uh, has some, most of the patents that enabled the satellites right if you look at his interview with BBC in 1961 where he predicts the internet, he predicts uh, the cell phones, he predicts uh, texting. He said that by the year 2000 people are going to have handheld devices that they won't talk to anybody anywhere, right? He will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console through which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information he needs for his everyday life, like bank statements, his theater reservations, all the information you need. This will be in a compact form in his own house. Arthur C. Clarke said, and he has three laws of technology. One of his laws is no technology reaches a level of, of complexity except it becomes indistinguishable from magic. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a Luddite. Right? I'm using a microphone right now. I'm not a Luddite. But this whole worshipful attitude towards technology, to me, is really stupid. This is a book from the 15th century. It's a picture of the devil, you know, uh, and this is something, you know, Muslims used to sometimes think they have a But I want you to look at his hands. You see this sign? I, I don't even want to do it on film because people will take a clip and then have, have me in one of those pictures doing that sign. It's an evil sign. We should. Don't do these signs, right? And kids watch Spider-Man, and then they want to do the sign because Spider-Man does it, right? And you don't want to be a Spider-Man, and you want to be a human man, right? Not an arachnoid, a humanoid. These signs, even this one, which I don't like doing, but that sign, Muslims should not do that sign. That actually comes out of magic. These are signs that were... Uh, they're, 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 they're magical signs. We have no symbols in our religion. Even this, the, the crescent and the moon is a Seljuk tradition. The Prophet Islam had no symbols in his religion. It's one of the miracles of our religion. Right? Because this is demonic stuff. So that is a very important symbol. Now, this is one of, this is what they worship, the Satanists, uh, Baphomet. If you notice, he's androgynous, so it's a male-female mixture. Also making these signs. You see the signs he's making using this sign because 11 is the devil's number. Because 11 is one beside one. And you will notice that in their numerology, they use 11 a lot. And they like multiples of 11. 11, 22, 33, 66. They like these multiples. Imam al-Ghazali says in their magic, they, they know the, the, the secrets of numbers. So they use numbers. The, the Prophet said when they used magic on him, they blew on 11 knots. 
Sunnah. And this is why the Mu'awidatayn has 11 ayahs, because it protects against their magic. So this is real stuff, people. I'm not making this up. This is real stuff. You either believe it or you, you don't. And if you don't, it's at your own peril. But this is real stuff. Seher is a reality in the world, and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the Seher of the Idun. You can see Madonna imitating here Bothamed, right? Because she's one of them, and she's a numerologist. She is a numerologist. She practices numerology. This is Lady Gaga that everybody's Gaga about. People tell me, you know, oh, you've got a lot of followers on your uh, Twitter or something like that. I'm, I don't even know. I, I, I did Twitter one time and regretted it. Um, but people say, and I said, to me, that means nothing. Lady Gaga's got tens of millions of followers. So the devil has plenty of followers on Twitter. It means nothing. We want to be on the account of God. Right? We want to have the angels following us, pleased with us, happy about what we're doing. Now, Maleficent, you can see, see, Disney, they used to have films where the witch was evil, and, and now they entice them. This is the fitna. They make a beautiful, see, they used to make an old hag. If you, if you see the old film, the witch was an old hag, you get them by degrees. Now they take somebody that many people consider a very beautiful woman, and, and they put her in both of them mass, and then it becomes seductive. It takes people by degrees. I mean, what is this? Why are they doing this? Why are you wearing horns? We're human beings. We're not demons. And then you can see these signs. Why do they use these symbols? Now, this man over here, the they started the Church of Satan. He wrote a Satanic Bible. And he explained that that symbol that they're all doing, that you saw on the, that Muslim graphic of the devil, that symbol, he said, was a curse symbol of, of devils. That's the way they put curses on people. I understand that, Dave. What are you doing? I'm giving a blessing to the to the audience. I don't think they appreciate it. They were throwing it back. Well, they thought it was a curse. Uh, would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? Sign Completely of the curse? different. How does it go? No, not at you, not at you people out there in the audience, but this is the difference. Aim it toward Red China, would you? <laughs> this is the sign of the horns. A curse sign, the two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast. You know, I always over. figured if I ever met the, the, the devil, it had dirty finger nails. Go on. No, oh, then. Uh, yes, they are. Well, well. Dirty, dirty finger nails. So that's the sign of the horn, and then what happened? Is that it? Well, there are other ones, too. Yeah, what are the other ones? The other ones, one of them is the pox sign. That's three fingers extended. A pox on you? A pox on you. During the Middle Ages, this yeah. was... Oh, yes. Yeah. But uh, you're originally... You're a bad cat. You well... Right? And you've got people at rock concerts. They're all doing it, thinking it's cool. Marilyn Manson was a follower of Anton LaVey. He has tens of thousands of people go to his rock concerts, he has them openly denounce God, openly. He says, I want you all to reject God tonight, and they all do it. So this is real stuff, people. He's very committed to this. He takes it away. He's a minister in the Church of Satan, and they use music, because music is fitna. It's enticing. It sucks you in. You like it. It's enjoyable. This is what he looked like when he was a little kid. And this is one of their symbols also. They use this astrological symbol. This is him on stage. This was a cover of the Beatles because uh, John Lennon was heavily involved in magic. He was a follower of Alistair Crowley, who was a, 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 a magician uh, and, and, and has massive influence on, 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 the, on Western civilization. He's one of these unknown influences. But they follow him. This they're in doctor suits with abortion. They actually, the Warner Brothers were so disturbed by this that they covered it over. Now this has no shock value for people in the West. But in those days, it had shock value. But this was an album cover that they chose because they believed in free sex. Free sex is necessitates abortion because people get unwanted pregnancy. Right? This is Kumbhakar the Shabbat. That's how he takes people. That's why Allah says, what the body gave me at Santa, right? Allah says, what is the true Allah? Don't kill your children out of 
I really wasn't expecting that that's just oh. I mean some of these things I've heard about like the the number 11 the number 33 Baphomet or whatever however you pronounce it I've heard of all these things but then I always I don't I always blame us humans look at the way we're so addicted to technology from the time you wake up by the time you're going to bed you just want to be on your phone social media whatever the case is now it's become about the number of people that follow you the number of people that are liking your stuff it's just it's it's insane it's like um it's like how drugs are addictive that's how addictive we are to our devices which just doesn't make sense to me i feel i still fail to understand but then we are responsible for our actions and everything else that we do we ourselves can control we can um what's the word we can tame ourselves on how we use these things but when it comes to like the study of numbers that's something i found interesting i wish my partner was here to react with me because he's actually i think he's more educated in that department than i am i really don't have much to say about that but it's something to think about then the symbols wait before the symbols i'm shocked that um he said that all scientists back in the days practiced black magic hmm. that's something interesting is black magic what do people describe as black magic is black magic say you do you practice all these ritual rituals to affect other people in a bad way or is everything just considered bad because i'm thinking of back in the days say our grandparents used heads to heal maybe a sick person is that black magic as well i'm just curious i always think of it like that what is black magic if you know please explain to me in the comment section below this was quite not quite but very very informative everyone should watch this I really wish Jesse was here to watch it with me, but maybe he can react to this on his channel. Subscribe to his channel at Jesse Keegan and also subscribe to our channel and our other channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Let me know what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about this video right here. Let us know if you want us to do anything else and we'll do it. For you give this video a thumbs up and of course don't forget to share it with your friends and see you in our next or my next reaction video